Okay, so. Um, it is clean. It's just, there's so many things going on right now. I feel like it's just everywhere. And that's fine because I'm not gonna like waste a ton of energy on something that is literally gonna be packed up this week anyways. Sorry, I just got done with the workout, so. Um, um, like I said, we're starting to separate the stuff that we're taking versus what they're gonna be packing up. Um, I started on my clothes, um, but I'm not really for sure if I'm gonna add or change things. All right, I'm going to bed. Good night. Okay, so hello, sorry. I still look so rough. Um, I actually went to like get ready for the day and I got the call that um, our stuff is coming to be packed up tomorrow. If you know, you know, but if you don't know, um, if we don't have the stuff that we're taking or we need set aside, they're gonna pack up everything. So right now, I'm trying to get Noah's clothes put aside, trying to get my clothes put aside. Um, I'm in the middle of like selling some things on Facebook. Um, there's literally just stuff everywhere. Like I'm not even kidding. Literally just stuff everywhere. Um, so like I said, I think I said in one of my, maybe the video I was editing, and then now I'm not gonna edit because I can't edit right now. But um, all of the TV stands and like this whole setup that I had in my room um, and I I had it on like the wall over here, um, that's all going goodbye. So um, there's somebody coming to pick that up. Um, I sold all of that, even the desk. So that's gonna be going. Um, so it's a hot mess right now, but my goal was to um, get everything out of this room that was not needed, that's not wanted, that's not gonna be packed up, um, and then basically filter that downstairs and out into the garage for that guy to come pick up. And um, yeah, so there's so much going on. Um, I think I'm just gonna set you up because I don't have a whole lot of time to like talk. Um, or at least right now, I just wanna make sure that I'm staying on track. So um, I'm just gonna put you in the corner um, and let you kind of watch me fold clothes. Um, basically just do everything and anything for packing. I'm pulling out anything that I know that we're gonna need that needs to go with us, that needs to stay. Um, anything like that is going to um, Anything like that is going to be pulled aside, so.
Okay, so I just wanted to hop on here. Um, I'm looking rough. The last few days have been so rough. Such a huge relief. It's such a big step with our move, like to know that our stuff is on the way to Washington. Um, I don't know, like that's a good feeling. I mean, I know we're without stuff, like yeah, yay, <laughs> no stuff, but um, just, just the thought is so great and so exciting. And like I said, it's such a, almost like a good relief, like a good um, excitement. Um, yeah, so um, our stuff is heading to Washington. I don't know what they do in two weeks. Does it really take them two weeks? Because I think the, our trip takes us four days. I know that they are legally like supposed to stop. I think like truckers have to stop so many hours, so maybe that's why. Um, maybe it sets for a day or two until they get the actual person taking it. Maybe it's, I don't know, like I don't know what the process is. We're new. Um, when we very first moved to North Carolina when Noah got orders here outside of um, boot camp and the schoolhouse and stuff, um, we moved ourselves. We didn't have very much. We had a one bedroom apartment, um, I, but still like that was a ton of work. Um, and then when we moved, you know, so we moved into our um, our first home that we rented and then we bought our first home, so we bought our townhouse. We moved ourselves again from one side of the base to the other and then when we bought this house, it was kind of in the middle. So it's still like a 30 minute drive back and forth. Um, we rented like a small U-Haul just to take like the big furniture. Um, but yeah, they're gonna be taking our couch, our dining table, our entry tables, coffee table, um, basically all everything. Um, I did purge quite a bit of stuff. Um, like I said on Wednesday when I was in my panic, my panic frenzy of just trying to get so much done. Like I just want it to be so easy and effortless because I really do appreciate, you know, obviously they're, they're getting paid to do this, but you know, um, they don't have to be friendly and they don't have to <laughs> be courteous. Like they're, you know, and so we just, we, we're trying to make this experience just as easy as possible for the people coming in and out of our house. Um, I've been working on a vlog, but obviously this crazy mess like has literally slowed that down. So there should be plenty of time for me to edit and get that video together. Um, but I went from like three and a half hours um, and I've already, I've already gotten it down to like two hours. So I'm cutting a lot of stuff. Um, I'm trying to get through it as quick as possible. Um, there's gonna be a lot of footage of the dogs in that one. There was some um, like, treats and toys and just fun things that we gave them and it was just so cute and so I wanted to share that with you um, not only because you know the dogs are basically our children but um, just because I mean I'd rather watch dogs than me so I mean I don't know but anyway so I'm gonna start featuring them a little more I feel like in my videos I feel like um, I enjoy watching videos where people share their pets and you know the 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 fur children of their lives I guess is that right I feel like the movers are here but I don't know I just saw a van like a big van like a Cause I think like the semi comes and then I think the workers come. I could be wrong, but anyways. I was in the process of doing something. Um, I was in the process of vacuuming out underneath these cushions. I ended up having to stop because um, the vacuum died because I had to vacuum out the dog kennels or crates or whatever. And um, so yeah, so we're in a little bit of a standstill. I was supposed to get a phone call. Actually, I'm supposed to get a phone call when they're here. He said between eight and nine, it's now 8.32. So today is Friday, October 16th, and um, I really wanna do better. And the van is back, so I'm assuming this is them. But okay, so I'm back many, many hours later. Um, I think it's like two, right, but going on three. Um, so. Everything is gone. That's 
why I'm echoing. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell in person that my house is so empty and I'm echoing. We've been waiting for this. Like, this means that we're just that much closer to moving and being in our new home and now going to a new unit, a better unit. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I just kind of wanted to pan and show you. Um, obviously, the home needs to be cleaned. We were in and out. Um, I assisted a little bit, but mainly just kind of got some information um, because we've never done a military move. Um, so I'm documenting, guys. I'm documenting the journey. Um, so. and some Amazon packages ready for my um, thing. I sat these little gurus on top because I didn't want to lose them. Um, so we have this one that came in today and then this one that came in today. I already know what they are, but I'm saving them for an Amazon review. So, like I said, she is empty besides that. Um, the appliances are all staying in this home because our new house has appliances, so that's why. Our back porch is empty. Um, the pantry's still full because obviously we're still here and we still need to eat. Um, this bathroom has our stuff in it and tell. Um, but yeah, so basically here she is. Um, when we sold the house, apparently anything like attached or um, attached on the walls has to stay. So like the um, TV wall mount up there had to stay, but we kept the brackets, if that makes sense. The brackets came with us, but the mount stayed. So um, upstairs. The dogs are pissed because they've had to be in their room without me all day. So here's Noah's game room. It's so completely different without all of his man cave, man crap stuff in here. This is all stuff that he's taking with us. This is mound. Um, some of the boxes are not gonna be going with us, so we're gonna leave his stuff is. But the stuff downstairs that I boxed up, um, I've ordered some stuff off of Amazon that wasn't technically a part of Prime Day. So what I did was I ordered, um, gosh, Caroline is crying. Um, so what I did was I ordered um, the vacuum seal bags. So all of our clothes and stuff are gonna come out of totes, bins, whatever they're in um, down there just because right now that we're just, I'm trying to keep them off the floor. So um, this used to be full of blankets, is now empty space. And in here, Used to be washer and dryer. Now we're gonna have to visit the laundry mat. So she is empty. Now, granted, like I said, we still have to um, pick up and clean up because there's still a mess. Um, this bathroom is fairly empty. There's a bucket in there because we had to drain the washer and dryer. Um, apparently that was part of our chores for the move. So. Voila, this was my office, it is now empty. Um, closet is empty. There's two light bulbs up here. Um, they didn't take light bulbs, so they just put them out for me. So we'll just probably trash those. Um, next, we're heading into the master. And voila, we have gun cases that they couldn't obviously take. Um, and then we have a box of like, um, what do you call those? Like band items? Like items that they couldn't take? Oh, I'm echoing. This is our closet. Our master closet. So I always really liked this closet because of this little nook. I always wanted to put like some sort of little hangout area, but it's in the closet. So it's kind of weird, right? So 
this was my side. I had this extra pole that I hung stuff on. This one and then the lower one and then all the space at the bottom. This was Noah's side and he had a big cubicle. Um, so that was a hot mess. This bathroom, there was nothing for them to take so I just went ahead and kept it like closed. Um, so you've got just basic, they've taken everything. I moved those over because I didn't want them to accidentally take anything like that. That's all gonna be trashed. And then we have the spare room. So I'm not gonna film because they're gonna go nuts um, because it's the first time they've been out in a minute. Um, but what they did was we sent their cages um, with the movers so they no longer have cages. Um, so they're just like loose in a room. I put their dog beds, their toys, um, the cat bed. They're all just chilling in that same thing together. Um, and so, um, yeah, so that was already pre-cleaned out. I did that ahead of time. So now I've got a mess um, to clean up in here because I need to get the litter boxes back out and I need to situate everything. So I'm gonna hop off here. Um, I'll check back in in a little bit, but I just wanted to give you a empty house. Like, look, I don't know, look at our empty house because I, you know, I didn't do this when we first moved in. So this is it, this is, basically empty. This is like all of our things gone besides what we like necessarily have to have for the next few weeks. So anyways, um, 